Spain's King Philip II was the first disabled person to get around on wheels. He ruled from a rolling chair with footrests in the 1500s. Today's wheelchairs are widely available, with a variety of features and prices. This wood, leather and steel chair is a World War II antique. A modern wheelchair literally runs circles around it. With hundreds of possible design options, today's wheelchair fits the user and the user's lifestyle. The wheel rim is aluminium, the spoke steel. It's much like a bicycle, except for these. Six steel brackets that later fasten to a hand rim for propulsion. Tires are either pneumatic, with an inner tube of air, or rigid, just one solid piece of rubber. A machine stretches the tire to fit the wheel rim. Workers install 12 washers, called spacers, along the hand rim. Six of these one centimeter spacers can be removed later to adjust the chair's overall width if necessary. The spacers on the hand rim align with the brackets on the wheel. Workers join them with industrial strength four centimeter steel screws. You buy replacement parts, much like you do car parts, through specialized dealerships. Bearings make the wheels roll with ease. Installing them is a delicate operation. Workers use special custom tooling to insert the bearings with extreme precision. The tyres are rigid and have no treads because they're designed for smooth indoor surfaces. An aluminium cross frame is what enables the chair to fold. They assemble it with six or seven screws per side, depending on the depth needed for the seat, which they'll install later on. The front part of the wheelchair is called the front frame. Workers lubricate the parts so they'll be easier to install. This also enables the wheelchair to fold with ease. They install the rear frame of the wheelchair, then make sure the cross frame folds correctly. Workers test the height adjustment lever for the armrest. Then they install a removable aluminium footrest, setting it to the desired length. It has a heel loop to prevent the user's foot from slipping off. The chair has a foldable sling seat. It's made of nylon and attaches to the frame with six screws on both sides. You can adjust the armrest height from 20 to 28 centimetres. And the tension in the backrest with three Velcro straps. The backrest is also made of nylon and comes in nine different heights. Workers insert the wheel axle into the frame, adjusting it to fit with the optional features of the chair, such as a particular style of armrest. The axle has a quick release so you can remove the wheel in seconds. The plastic and aluminium hand lever is a parking brake. This motorised chair has an electrical controller. The user commands it with a joystick. The chair runs on two 12 volt batteries that can be charged in eight hours from a household socket. Workers squeeze the inner tube into the rear wheel rim. The air valve slips through and the front and back parts attach with screws. Now the rear wheel can go onto the motor. They attach the seat and the joystick box, which has on-off and speed control switches. The battery pack provides 85 amps an hour. That's enough power for 16 hours or 40 kilometers. The batteries connect to the charger and controller to power up the wheelchair. A steel bumper and plastic rear hood called a shroud protect the back of the wheelchair from the elements and against minor collisions. This motorised model can glide at a leisurely pace or zoom around at a top speed of 12 kilometres an hour.